at Home Watch Caregivers, we feel that it is essential for an opportunity for the clients and the caregivers to bond in a special way. And I was recently uh, visiting with a client who, and the caregiver was there, and they both have a love for cars. And, um, you know, they're able to share that love by going to, you know, auto shows in the area, and they're reading a book now about lemons, you know, that they're able to laugh over and just engage with each other, you know, on that level. And um, just watching the two of them interact during my visit uh, just gave me a sense of, of a job well done, you know, when you can see that caregiver and that client um, have that connection. We had one gentleman that was working with such, just such a client. They worked for about two years on how to make phone calls. And they've come to the point now where this gentleman can make phone calls for his own appointments, for his own doctor's appointments and different things. And it was a big, a big change for this individual in his life. It was a, a big milestone. We have one client who we have really helped lately. He's been a client of ours for about a year and a half. And he has Parkinson's, pretty, pretty deep into the Parkinson's process. And uh, his doctor recently told him, hey Arthur, you need to either get 24 hour care or I'm gonna put you in a facility. So Arthur had been using us for you know eight or 12 hours a day. And since we've started doing 24 hour care for Arthur, I mean, he looks like a different guy. It's awesome. He's, he's brighter, he's more on alert, he's stronger, he can stand up, he's walking on his own without even a walker for the first time in a long time. So, you know, really glad that we're able to take care of people like that and make their lives better. And uh, she will teach her how to knit. She does that in her spare times and she does knitting. And our caregiver learned from her and she would go along and do knitting alongside her and they just chat. It's like a companion care at that time. Both are knitting and chatting and she enjoys those times. And, uh, and I, I see that our caregiver would love to do that as well. He um, was a former college professor and his, he didn't want just one caregiver, he had eight or nine. And we found that the best way for him to be happy was to have a different caregiver every day because he would then teach them, he would continue to be the professor. And if it was a caregiver two, two days in a row, he got bored with them. <laughs> so it was best for him to have a slew of caregivers. Um, so it wasn't just one great caregiver, it was eight that made up his, his team. It was pretty, really fun to see him in his element being a teacher.